All right, Hacker Friday, Hacker Friday. All right, so <laughs> um, we are here to show you how to install CNA Nightlies for your Motorola Atrix 4G. And if you're unfamiliar with what CNA is, it's codename Android ROM, which is really new to me. I've never heard of it before, um, but I will be doing a review on it. So pay attention to that, which will probably follow right after this install video uh, because I've been running it for a little while now and uh, I've kind of gotten used to some of the settings. But anyways, just so you guys know, um, there is a different area. I don't know. I, I can't. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not totally clear on where. This gentleman from XDA got it from. And by the way, just to give a big shout out to, if I'm going to read his name properly, this, this is what I hate when people make names that you can't read on XDA developers. Rick Rigo? Rick Rigo? Anyways, uh, so big shout out to him. Thank you very much for bringing this to everybody's attention over at the uh, Atrix development thread um, because otherwise I would have never found it and would have never heard of it before. But it's a great ROM. You really, really, I really strongly recommend you guys flash this. Um, but anyways, just so you're aware, don't go looking for this on your own and start looking for random nightlies. There was a trick to getting this ROM to work. In fact, the guy actually had to rip out the, um, I think the lib and some build.prop files from uh, Joker's Sandage Mod 9 ROM and kind of replace them with this one. And then that's how he managed to get it working. And in addition to that, we had to load um, one of Fox's old kernels. Now I'm still unclear 100% whether or not the new kernel works uh, with this modified zip that you'll be installing. But um, just for safety, I downloaded the um, his outdated one, the 1.0 gigahertz. Now there has been some reports on the thread itself saying that uh, one gentleman mentioned that he has the 1.3 or 1.45 gigahertz installed and he just uh, underclocked it to about 1.2 gigahertz. And he says he hasn't had any problems and it's working just phenomenal and it's got some amazing battery life. Um, because this is one gigahertz right now, uh, I was already noticing some um, great battery life on it already. So anyways, so let, <laughs> let's get all that out of the way. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is, what do you guys think of my new fancy logo? That is the new official, official, the smoking Android logo. So keep an eye out for that. Badass. And that is care of the flash. So thank you very much to him for giving me that logo to use. And... Um, yeah, and if you haven't checked out his app, actually, I did a review on it already. It's called uh, The Icon Ultimate, so you're going to want to check that out and download it. A bunch of awesome custom apps. But anyways, anyways, this is an install video and it's taking way too long. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to have two links in the description below. Now, I'm going to have, or three, actually. I'm going to have the link to the thread, just so you can stay up to date with what's going on. And then I'm going to have the link to the uh, modified .zip file that the guy put together so that you can load the ROM, which is the ROM. It's about 106 megabytes in size. Uh, and then I'm going to put down Joker Sax's uh, link to his CM9 ROM page where you can download Fox's kernel and test out some of the kernels if you want, see if it works, if it's, they're compatible with this ROM. So, with all that said, <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. So Motorola Atrix, of course, uh, for everybody else. Well, not for everybody else. This is only for Motorola Atrix users, so please excuse that. Uh, of course, power button, volume down, press and hold, wait for the green light to come on, let go of the power button, still holding volume, get down there, get into Android Recovery. There it is. I had a lot of dicking around to do um, in order to install this ROM because I actually didn't I kept downloading the wrong ROM and I, I didn't notice that the guy actually had a link to his Dropbox in the original thread and when I finally figured that out but before I figured that out I kept getting crazy amounts of um, boot looping so uh, don't worry I'll post the correct link in the description below so you don't have to <laughs> go through what I just had to go through so of course we're gonna want to do some zipping uh, some wiping um, if you're already running Sandage Mod 9 uh, one of the guys mentioned that you could probably just flash over top of it and just wipe your cache and you should be okay. Um, but I'm not going to recommend that. I'm going to recommend a full wipe. But I'm not going to go all crazy like we did last time. What you're going to want to do here is just go into advanced, wipe your Dalbit cache. That'll take just a moment. Um, I'm not going to do this because I still have it installed. I just really don't want to lose all my data and stuff like that, even though I have a, a backup. But I just don't feel like going into all that after the video. Uh, so Dalbit's wiped. Uh, white cache partition, right? Go in there, you would select yes. That'll take about two minutes or so. Then you're gonna wanna do a full white data factory reset. 
and then that'll of course wipe everything. Once you've done that, go into your SD card and obviously you're going to want to push the files onto your SD card, the ones that you'll be downloading, that's a given. Um, and then you'll go ahead and locate it and the file itself will be called, so that'll be cna328.zip. So you're going to install that. Once that installs right afterwards, don't wipe anything, don't reboot your system, nothing like that. Uh, then you're going to want to download, or sorry, install his the uh, uh, Fox's Atrix kernel. Again, you can either try his latest one, version 2, or you can try the outdated one, which is the one that I'm using. I haven't had really any issues yet other than some speed issues that I'm seeing a little bit here and there. Uh, so you're going to want to flash that. That'll take just a moment. And then once you're done that, um, you're also going to want to, and I didn't mention this before, you're going to want to download on Jokersack's page the um, his latest version of GApps, uh, version 11. So um, you can find all that on his website. And uh, if you're ha and I'll actually post a link to that below. So there's gonna be like four or five links. Let's just go link crazy. Screw it. Um, so once you flash that, then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just well reboot. So we'll go ahead and we'll reboot this sucker and we'll show you. Um, I just want to show you what the boot animation looks like. And there we have our stock ice cream sandwich boot animation. Um, I think it's running a little laggy at the moment. There we go, it just kicked in some higher frames per second. But you could also notice that there's actually a bit of a border around it, unlike some of the more well-polished Sanage Mod 9 ROMs out there. Um, so as you can see, it's still a work in progress, but nevertheless, um, still a fantastic ROM. Make sure you check out the review, which is gonna be following this video right after it. I'll be posting them both at the same time. And um, go ahead, download it, and uh, you know maybe check out the review, see all the options, see if it's something you like. I definitely recommend it, especially if you like customizing your Android. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this was helpful to you all. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up in the link uh, down below. In the link, where's the thumbs up link? Uh, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And until next time, which will probably be in the next video, and then after that, I'm probably going to take this weekend off because I've been going crazy this week. The Smoking Android, signing out.